Hello and welcome to the P. Kenner Administrator training video part 1. Part 1 of the video series covers how to modify user balances, create new and modify existing client codes, as well as create new and modify existing ID numbers and PIN numbers. All P. Kenner components include the powerful reporting administrative tool known as P. Kenner Administrator. To launch P. Kenner Administrator, go to the P. Kenner server and select Start, P. Counter, P. Counter Administrator. P. Counter Administrator is split into four main sections, each of which are listed at the bottom of the P. Counter Administrator vid window. User accounting area is used to modify user balances and autocodes. Domain users, local users, and P. Counter users are all three visible in this area. To view domain users, click on the Domain drop-down and select Browse AD Domains. Left-click on your domain and hit OK. This will display your domain's OUs and user accounts. To view local accounts, click on the domain drop-down and select Select Domain. Then browse through the workgroup or domain that your uh, server is a member of. Left-click on your server and, and select Select. This will display all users and groups that are local accounts on the server. To view pcounter users, select pcounter users up at the top of the screen and show users. This will display all pcounter users contained on the active data server. pcounter users are used for print and copy only. They may not be used to log into a workstation or into the domain. Next we have the client codes area. To view the client codes, click in Client Codes at the bottom left of the pcounter Administrator window. These codes can be entered manually or imported from a CSV file. The codes are used as login data by the user when printing or copying, or can be logged automatically when the user prints or copies using AutoCode. To create a new code, click on the pop-up drop-down up at the top and select a New Code. Type the code name in the code field and a description. These codes can be departments that can then be applied to the user as an autocode. To apply an autocode, click back on user accounting, find a user, either a pcounter user or a domain user right-click them and say set auto code from client codes make a code selection and hit OK auto code will populate in the auto code field for the user and will be logged automatically every time the user prints or copies this can make department reporting much easier as well as transparent to the user client code list associations are next they can be viewed by selecting client code list associations at the bottom of the pcounter administrator window. Client code list associations are used to restrict the client codes that are available to a user for print and copy usage. By default, every user can use every client code in pcounter. If this is unacceptable, you can use associations to specify exactly which codes the user is allowed to use. By assigning client code associations to a user at a group or user level, and if associations are enabled, newly created users must receive associations before they will be allowed to print or copy, as no codes will be associated by default and no codes will be allowed for selection. To assign an association, right-click the user in the association view and select Associate Code. Make your selection of codes and click Associate. They're then viewable when you left click on the user in the association area. If associations are enabled in pcounter, this user will only see the associated codes. Finally, we will select the pcounter pro ID slash pins area at the bottom of the window. This area is used to create or modify existing user ID and pin associations. These IDs and pins make it easier for the user to log in interactively at the MFP without typing a full username and password. Basically, a simple number such as 123 is associated with either a domain, local, or pcounter user account using pcounter administrator. To assign 123 as an ID number, 
right click the user and select set ID number. Enter 123 and click OK. Once associations are in place, when the user is prompted for login at the MFP, all they enter is 123 to log in as themselves instead of their full username and password. ID numbers can be imported from a list or manually assigned to individual user objects. Or they can be generated in sequential or random formats for all users if needed. ID numbers can also be looked up from an Active Directory attribute such as Employee ID. This is done using an automatic lookup process that varies depending on the product. ID numbers currently cannot be used when printing, only for walk-up usage. As when printing through a pCounter server, most of the time the exact user the job belongs to is tracked automatically. Versus walk-up usage, the user must be identified first. This concludes part one of the video. Part two covers generating usage reports in depth.